Confirmation has finally arrived, and with it, a flurry of reactions. The much-talked-about Tesla Model Q, long seen as mere internet speculation, is now an official reality, endorsed by Elon Musk himself as an essential part of the company's 2025 strategy. But what really catches everyone's attention isn't the if, but the for how much. We're talking about an electric car that could hit the market with a starting price of $25,000. And with subsidies applied, that price could drop to a staggering $15,999. That's not just affordable for an electric car. It's even cheap compared to many combustion engine models. The announcement caught many off guard. After all, Musk has a history of making bold promises that usually take time to materialize. However, this time there are concrete signs. Internal documents, prototypes spotted undergoing testing, and solid indications of progress in development. The curious thing is that, for many years, imagining a Tesla aimed at the average consumer seemed unlikely. The brand has always been associated with cutting-edge innovation and high prices. What could have motivated this shift? According to Elon Musk, the Model Q is much more than just a new model. It represents a change in mindset. The proposal is clear, to make Tesla cars accessible to the general public, not just a tech elite. At a time when high prices are slowing the growth of the electric vehicle market, Tesla has decided to target a target audience many competitors still ignore, the middle class. And it's not just talk. In recent months, several concrete signs have emerged, from visible progress at Giga Texas, to statements from company executives, reports from banks like Deutsche Bank, to aerial images of a camouflaged compact vehicle driving near the factory. Everything points to the Model Q being in the final stages of development. And when Musk himself publicly confirms the project, it's a sign that the wheels are truly turning. The timing, in fact, couldn't be more opportune. Political tensions in the U.S., reduced federal incentives, and the rapid advance of Chinese brands like BYD are putting pressure on Tesla to react, and the Model Q appears to be the answer. The idea behind this new model is simple yet extremely powerful, to offer an electric car with good performance, cutting-edge technology, and an affordable price. For those who doubted the viability of something like this, Musk seems determined to prove it's possible, and there's an important detail that few have noticed, but which speaks volumes about the plan. The Model Q will be built on the same platform as Tesla's autonomous taxi project, known as CyberCab. This suggests that the car was designed not only for the end consumer, but also to operate in future autonomous fleets. This strategic versatility could give the model a competitive advantage even before it officially hits the market. Even with a more affordable price, the new vehicle will continue to reflect Tesla's essence. Solid performance, minimalist design, and over-the-air software updates. While the focus on affordability is attracting attention worldwide, there's an equally important aspect that has gone unnoticed by many. The care with which the Model Q was designed to integrate seamlessly into today's urban lifestyle. Nothing about this design was done by accident. Whether for the narrow streets of Paris or the constant traffic jams of New York, the car was developed to behave like a true chameleon in the urban environment. Leaked information confirmed by sources close to development reveals that the Model Q will be approximately 15% smaller than the Model 3 and could weigh up to 30% less. This reduction isn't just due to design or material savings, but rather a direct response to the needs of modern mobility. In practice, this means a more agile, maneuverable, and highly functional car for everyday use. Tesla understood that to truly win over the public with a more affordable model, it wasn't enough to simply cut costs. It had to meet people's real needs. Therefore, the company chose to develop two distinct variants of the Model Q, a compact hatchback aimed at the European and Asian markets, where streets are narrower and parking spaces are limited, and a compact SUV version aimed at the North American market, which still maintains a strong preference for larger vehicles. This decision clearly demonstrates Tesla's commitment to respecting and understanding the cultural particularities of each automotive market, something many automakers still neglect. Another key point is preserving the brand's visual style, even in an entry-level model. The Model Q won't look like a cheap car. On the contrary, it will follow the refined lines of Tesla's more expensive models, but with smaller dimensions and a leaner design. Smooth lines, well-defined LED headlights, and an aerodynamic front end make up the look, designed to both please the eye and improve energy efficiency. After all, in an electric car, aerodynamics directly impacts range. Inside, 
The Model Q will follow Tesla's philosophy of functional minimalism. Forget about dashboards cluttered with buttons and flashing lights. The interior will be clean, with few physical controls and a complete focus on the entertainment center and smartphone integration. Some say the dashboard could be even more streamlined than the Model 3s, reinforcing the idea of a modern, uncomplicated space. Despite its compact size, comfort hasn't been overlooked. The seats should offer good support, the interior space will be well utilized, and the panoramic roof with UV protection, mentioned by those who saw the prototypes, should add a touch of refinement to the ambience. And if the reduced size makes you think of a cramped interior, forget it. The structure has been redesigned, and the intelligent use of lightweight materials, such as aluminum, will allow for excellent optimization of interior space. The feeling of spaciousness will be reinforced by strategic choices, such as light interior colors and higher positioned front seats, which improve visibility while driving. Small details that make all the difference in everyday life. When it comes to batteries, Tesla isn't improvising. The Model Q's gamble is bold and could redefine energy standards in its category. How can you offer an electric car with good range for under $25,000? The answer lies in a complete overhaul of the car's powertrain. The model will come equipped with lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries, offering 53 kilowatt in the standard version and up to 75 kilowatt in the all-wheel drive version. Most impressively, even with all the features incorporated, the new model's estimated range exceeds 500 kilometers under ideal conditions. This feat is possible thanks to the use of lithium iron phosphate, LFP batteries, which combine excellent durability, high safety, and low cost. A key combination to make the car not only technically efficient, but also financially viable. One of the major advantages of this type of battery is that it eliminates the use of rare earth metals like cobalt and offers high wear resistance. This translates into cheaper production, a lower risk of overheating, and a much longer lifespan. LFP batteries also support a greater number of recharge cycles, making them ideal for urban vehicles aimed at the general public. Another benefit is recharging. Its operation allows for simpler and more efficient charging, even from residential outlets, which facilitates the popularization of electric cars. But Tesla intends to go further. Leaked internal information suggests that, as early as 2025, the Model Q could feature a version equipped with solid-state batteries, one of the automotive industry's most anticipated technologies. Many experts see this innovation as the holy grail of electric vehicles. With twice the energy density compared to conventional batteries, this new generation promises to offer greater range, take up less space, and ultra-fast recharges, about 9 minutes to reach 80% charge. This type of technological advancement has the potential to win over even the most skeptical of electrification. While initially reserved for the top-of-the-line versions of the Model Q, Tesla is expected to rapidly expand production and bring this innovation to an ever-increasing number of consumers. This ability to transform disruptive ideas into affordable industrial solutions is one of the company's greatest hallmarks. And since the Model Q symbolizes the beginning of a new era of production, it makes sense that it would be the first to embrace this energy revolution. Another surprising statistic comes from the reduction in battery manufacturing costs. The Nevada Gigafactory, for example, already produces an impressive 536 cells per second, enough to power up to 500,000 vehicles per year. This production scale and the advance in efficiency have allowed Tesla to halve its cost per kilowatt hour since 2023, enabling it to launch the Model Q at such a competitive price, even with lower profit margins. However, to make this car an affordable reality, modern batteries and an optimized design aren't enough. It needs to be manufactured on a large scale, and that's precisely what Tesla has been working hard on, completely rethinking the automotive production process. The answer lies in a technique called gigacasting. While this approach has already been successfully tested on the Model Y, it will reach a new level with the Model Q. The idea is to replace the traditional assembly process, which requires hundreds of small parts, with large structural blocks cast from aluminum. It's as if the car were assembled from giant parts created in unique molds. This drastically reduces the number of welds, screws, and assembly steps speeding up production. With this technique, Tesla will be able to manufacture up to 45 units per hour, more than double the conventional industry average of around 20. The direct impact? 
a reduction of up to 30% in production costs and the possibility of selling the Model Q at a competitive price without sacrificing scalability. But Tesla's boldness goes even further. The Model Q will also debut a new 48-volt electrical architecture. While it may seem like a technical detail, this change is extremely significant. While most current vehicles still use 12V electrical systems inherited from combustion engines, Tesla has decided to evolve. This new electrical approach brings improvements in efficiency, weight reduction, and greater compatibility with modern vehicle electronic systems, reinforcing the company's commitment to innovation at all levels. By adopting the 48-volt electrical architecture, Tesla was able to make internal wiring thinner, reduce the power consumption of electronic modules, and consequently, reduce the vehicle's weight. This additional lightness translates into greater range and superior road performance. But the impact doesn't stop there. This new structure is also directly linked to another major innovation, wireless communication between the car's internal systems. That's right, Tesla is eliminating much of the conventional wiring. Lights, sensors, and various components now communicate via digital signals, which makes vehicle assembly easier and significantly reduces potential points of failure. This transition goes beyond a simple technical improvement. It's a quiet yet revolutionary change that promises to make updates faster and maintenance much simpler. Imagine a car capable of identifying a problem and, instead of being taken to a repair shop, resolving everything through an automatic update directly from Tesla's servers. It's not just practicality, it's the embodiment of the future of mobility. All of this is only possible thanks to Tesla's integrated production structure. The Model Q will be manufactured on the same assembly lines that already produce the Model 3 and Model Y, eliminating the need to build a new factory. However, this doesn't mean a loss in quality, quite the opposite. Existing lines are being modernized to adapt to the new assembly approach with gigacasting, streamlining the entire process so that the vehicle can be available on the market as early as 2025. This is where Tesla differentiates itself from other automakers. While many competitors are still trying to perfect their semi-autonomous driving technologies, Tesla is one step ahead. And the Model Q, even though it's the brand's most affordable model, won't be left out of this evolution. However, it's important to note, the full self-driving FSD system won't be included in the base model. And this, in fact, is a smart move. By keeping FSD as an option, the company can focus on offering a $25,000 vehicle without compromising the model's performance and reliability. For those who desire, the full package will be available. FSD can be purchased through a monthly subscription, currently around $199, or as an outright purchase. And there's a new twist for current Tesla owners. It will be possible to transfer the FSD license to the Model Q, something that previously seemed unlikely. This flexibility expands consumer options and gives Tesla a rare competitive advantage in the automotive industry. Even those who opt out of FSD will still have access to a vehicle equipped with the new AI4 hardware platform, fully prepared for future updates. This chip represents the core of Tesla's autonomous driving system, capable of processing massive amounts of data in real time and making decisions faster and safer than many human drivers in everyday situations. A little discussed but extremely important detail. Tesla's driving system doesn't rely on fixed maps, unlike many competitors. Instead, it relies solely on the vehicle's own cameras and sensors, analyzing the environment around it in real time, just as a person would. This continuous learning model allows the car to evolve with every mile driven. It's as if the Model Q is constantly learning about traffic, road signs, pedestrian behavior, and everything around it adapting precisely to different regions and conditions. With over 10 billion miles already driven by the brand's vehicles, the intelligence behind this technology only improves with time, like an experienced driver who never stops training. But that doesn't mean the Model Q will be sold as a fully autonomous robo-taxi. The basic version will come with features like autopilot, lane-keeping assist, and adaptive cruise control, features that already make trips much safer and more comfortable. And for those who want to go further, it will be possible to activate supervised driving mode or subscribe to the full self-driving function, which is already being tested on specific routes, such as in Austin, Texas. This gradual autonomy model makes the Model Q even more versatile. It caters to both those seeking a reliable and fuel-efficient car 
and technology enthusiasts who want to explore the advancements of autonomous driving. This flexibility may seem subtle, but it's precisely what allows Tesla to reach diverse audiences with a single product, something few automakers can do successfully. And if all this already sounds ambitious, it's worth remembering that the speed at which Tesla is working behind the scenes is equally impressive. Model Q production won't be just another production line within the brand's factories. It's a global, meticulously coordinated operation. The starting point is the giant Giga Texas and Giga Mexico plants, which will be central to the new model's mass production strategy, with targets that could reach 500,000 units per year. And that's just the beginning. Tesla's ambition goes far beyond what many imagined. In its most recent investor filing, the company officially confirmed that production of the highly anticipated Model Q is scheduled to begin in the first half of 2025. Most importantly, this confirmation didn't come from Elon Musk's social media statements or uncertain rumors, but rather from official sources during shareholder conference calls, occasions where any inaccuracy can have serious legal implications. In other words, when Tesla formalizes a date, it's a sign that the project is at an advanced stage and well-structured. This alone raises market expectations. The decision to manufacture the Model Q simultaneously in the United States and Mexico was more than strategic. It was a masterstroke. In Texas, Tesla has a solid production base, direct access to engineering teams, and a well-established innovation ecosystem. The Mexican hub offers cost advantages due to its proximity to key suppliers. This combination allows the automaker to achieve industrial scale while maintaining rigorous quality control, and above all, to keep the car's price competitive, even in markets where margins are tight. This decentralized production also offers a key tactical advantage, the ability to react quickly to fluctuations in demand. If demand is strongest in the United States, for example, the Texas plant can ramp up production. If the focus is on exporting to Latin America or Europe, Giga Mexico can take the lead. It's as if Tesla is creating an intelligent and adaptable production system, ready to adapt to the demands of each market, exactly the kind of structure a vehicle with global ambitions requires. Another indication that the project is in its final stages are the certification requests already filed with agencies such as CARB, California Air Resources Board, and the EPA, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. These authorizations are essential for the vehicle to be sold in the United States and are generally only requested once the car is in final testing, moving beyond the prototype stage. Furthermore, camouflaged models have been tested on closed tracks near Giga Texas, closely monitored by sensors, further proof that the Model Q's launch is about to become a reality. Now imagine an ordinary street in any city in the world, 